Hold wish on. I could take the pain away. If you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day. Everything will be alright if you hold on. It's a struggle every day, gotta roll on. I wish I could take the pain away. If you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day. Everything will be alright if you hold on. It's a struggle every day, gotta roll on. Uh. And this is Australian meat, dairy, and egg industries. Oh, holy moly. Yeah. If you like being a vegetarian, that's uh, start by watching. That's a gas chamber. That's how they, they kill their pigs humanely. It's not humane? Do you think that's humane? I have no idea. I have no idea if the pig was... Have you heard this? It's a good saying. It says, to judge whether something's humane or not, first ask if you'd want it done to yourself. And that's how we sort of apply that. I think that word humane is just a, a marketing tool to make people feel comfortable about eating. Is a bolt in the head more humane or less humane? Do you, well, I don't think... Um, I would, like, cause if I have to choose, if I had any say in the way that I die, a bolt in the head would be beautiful. What if I didn't bolt you in the head and I let you go and let you be free? From cancer? Just like six months. Oh, well, cow, these cows don't have cancer, so... They just want to live and like be happy like us, you know what I mean? Like that's why we think there's no humane way to take an animal's life, like okay, or, or enslave yep. them or anything like that. So I agree with it. It's disgusting in yeah. everything. I can't believe that even I can't believe you're allowed to sell eggs that aren't free range eggs, for example. Do you think free range eggs are any less or do you think that's just a little nice pretty package that they sell to you? Um, I think they're much, much more humane than cage eggs. Have you been into people uh, adhere to the actual regulation of what constitutes free range? So unfortunately, free range means nothing for the animals. All the chickens are still enslaved. All the, ba the male baby chicks are still minced up on their first day of life without even taking their first breath. This is um, Australian piggeries. Yeah, it's not really worth it for a sandwich, like a, a lifetime of suffering and violence so we can have a quick sandwich. It's cool to see something else being like advertised other than just God. <laughs> well we're not trying to sell nothing, we don't we just want people yeah, to stop hurting no, animals. Like, like, in terms of people standing in the mall and yeah. talking about something, it's great to see something else well, we feel being like, spoken about other than just like Christianity. Well 150 billion animals have murdered every year so yeah. we can have a sandwich and we just think it's most people are against animal cruelty. You can't say murdered. Why not? If you look up the word murder in the dictionary, it applies to humans only. But do you think that animals can't be murdered? Yeah, to, according to the meaning of the word, but I'm not arguing with it's you. It's a loophole. No, it is a loophole. It's a small little um, you know, nuance in like word wording, but we think animals can be murdered. They can be raped. Like if you look at it, right. if you put yourself in the, in the animal's position, it's murder. That's why we think animals deserve the right to life like, without suffering, you know? Like that, it's a gas chamber. This is what we pay for when we buy a burger, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just not, we just don't think like, like they deserve it, it's not justified, like they've done nothing wrong to us. They've just got born into the body, a different body than us, you know. They're scared, they don't want to die. We chop them up into pieces and no one knows about it, man. They just go on in their day like nothing's happening. It's easier to enjoy a burger if you pretend it's not <laughs> Well, that burger industry don't want to show you how it's made. No, no. They want to show you what it looks like when it's done. Kids and that, they're so disconnected from, if you showed this to children and stuff, do you think they want to eat it? Oh my god, so what? I won't eat animals! Oh, okay. But a true carnivore would salivate at the sight of a suffering pig. That's very true. But we see roadkill and it makes us sick. But we see an apple tree, we want to eat it. And that's how you go with instinct and... Mm, mm, that's true. We've been trained to go against our natural instinct to be kind and compassionate. We've been programmed since birth. Our parents showed us eating meat was okay and we'd never been to a slaughterhouse. Oh yeah, I had a girlfriend that had a piggery in Dolby in Queensland for years. Oh really? Disgusting. Horrible way. Yeah, but... At the end of the day, the pigs are products, they're slaves. Literally they... thousands of them in yeah. there. The stench you can't even wash out of your skin. People put that in their stomach, they eat it, you know. Surprised it didn't put you off eating 
Yeah. What, do you think it's okay to treat animals like that for a sandwich, or why not? We would. Their life's the same as ours. Same yeah, way. they feel pain and suffer, and like dogs, you got pet dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think they feel pain any differently than a dog, or? No. no. So the reason we're here, we just like people go in, and they get this, the footage from these places, and they and they bring it out and show people, and they say, look, do you, do you want to contribute to that? Do you want to buy that product? Yeah. At the end of the day, if we don't buy it, we stop eating it. Yeah. They they're out of business, bro. They won't do this to animals anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's why we try to ask the consumer to stop buying it because we can't. They won't stop producing it unless we stop buying it. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's how it works. The things they're doing with those fish, that look like, I can't really see that little screen, but those fish there, you know, that's, that's a bit rough. Yeah, check out this, bro. This is, um, as you can see, the lambs trying to run away. This is all in Australia. This is how they slaughter the lambs. It's fully conscious, chopping off its head. Like, if that was a dog, people would be freaking out, man, yeah, eh? I know. Like... They'd be, doing They'd be doing more about it. Hey, what if there were people in there, bro? Yeah, I know. People would be freaking out, man. But I don't, we look at down at animals so much that we just think it's okay to treat them like slaves and kill them when we want. See this cow here? Do you eat uh, cows or beef or anything like that? Uh, a minced beef or... Yeah, minced spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is... Do you think it's healthy to put that suffering in, in your body? Like, yeah. me neither, man. That's why I don't. Like, it, become, it it will manifest as disease in your body if you put cruelty inside of your body. You know. Yeah. So you're vegetarian? No, no, no. Vegetarians still consume eggs, dairy. They wear animal skin. Eggs and dairy. They take with the dairy industry. They take the baby cow away from the mother. Yeah. Steal the baby's milk. Kill the baby. Feed the baby. Chop the baby up. So eggs and dairy, horrible industries, man. So, so vegan. vegan. You heard of veganism? Yeah, I've oh, got a, a friend that's called you. Yeah. yeah, so we, like, you can get vegan burgers, vegan fries, vegan yeah. ice cream, everything vegan, yeah. you know, or fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, potatoes, um, yeah. pasta, bread, all that sort of stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't contain violent suffering. Hell easy, man. I've been doing it for four years nearly. Easy as, bro, and feel did heaps you, better. Did you used to eat heaps before? bulk, bro. Yeah. Like, I always get big T bones cut like that, like, yeah. and I was heaps good at cooking, and I always cooked, like, eggs and cheese on the yeah. eggs and all that stuff, man. And then I just, someone said something to me, like, you know, like, you, if you eat suffering and violence, you put that in your body, it will manifest in your body because you, you become what you eat. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought about it, and I, was like, started seeing people that were fighting for, like, dolphins and whales and stuff but they have a dead cow on their plate and I was like that's a bit hypocritical yeah, yeah. you can't be against animal cruelty while you're eating it yeah and then I started yeah. to make the connection like that and it happened slowly bro then I, I sort of I got sober enough to realize wait a sec what, yeah. what's going on what are we doing to these animals why are we eating corpses like it's normal yeah. like it's not normal bro like like we as a species are not violent man because we see violence and it makes us sick yeah doesn't it like that doesn't make you hungry but if i showed that to a wolf or a dog or a lion they'd be like give me yeah. i'll eat that right now yeah but there's a reason why we we go apple picking we we feel hungry for an apple but if you see a dead uh, roadkill it makes you feel sick yeah so but yeah, it's just people, they, their parents eat meat, it's all over the TV, it's, people just think it's normal. Yeah, yeah. They don't see the suffering, they don't see the slavery, yeah. they don't focus on that. They, the advertising is just like, eat me, eat me, pay for me, buy me, put cheese on me. Yeah. It's all good. It's all, it's all humane slaughter. Humane. Do you think there could be such thing as humanely killing someone? Killing someone. Taking someone's life who wants to live, yeah. So, you know, this is just the reality of it, man. It's just like... So we're just trying to show people what's going on and see if they can make a decision when they go in the shop. Am I going to buy a cow that went through pain? Or am I going to go into the vegan section, get some vegan meat, vegan cheese, vegan milk, yeah. plant like almond milk, soy milk or something, you know, yeah. buy some pasta and beans and have a dinner without a dead body in it. Yeah, I, don't, I can't really do dairy, I'm not person tolerant, so... Well, you're not a cow, yeah. are you? You're not a baby cow, so why would you? Yeah. 
why would anyone be tolerant to milk? I, I think it's, like, it's for a cow, it's for a baby, man. Yeah, yeah. The only milk we should be drinking is when we're a baby off That's our mother's breast. What my mum told me, yeah. Your mum told you that? Yeah. She doesn't drink milk either. She does drink milk, but that's what she told me. She, she knows that, that it's ridiculous. Yeah, that we shouldn't be drinking milk, yeah. So true, man. We shouldn't be eating dead bodies either, really, when you look at that. Yeah. Suss it out, bro. Like, people are starting to wake up, man, and snap out of it. And, like, this, this movement is getting bigger because it's the truth, bro. Like, you can't look at that and say it's not happening. It's happening everywhere here in Adelaide. I could take you out 20Ks out. It's that, that's happening. So. No, it's happening. Yeah, and we are people out here. It's not the people in there that are doing it. We're paying for it to happen. Yeah. If we stop buying it, it they don't. They go out of business, bro. It's simple as that. Yeah. I, I, I know it will come to a stop one day, but when that happens, what are you gonna do? well, you can put a stop to it in your life right now. That's where the power is, man. Power isn't wait for everyone else. It's what what can I do right now to stop it? Yeah. And you can stop it in your life, in your body. Stop putting it in your body. Sooner or later, man, like, it's going to manifest as some kind of disease, man. Like, it, you can't put flesh yeah. inside your body for your whole life without... Yeah, any... Yeah, terminal illness, uh, heart disease, cancer, people are dropping diabetes. It's, it's happening to everyone, man. I know. My mom roasts me about if I eat too much ham or anything like that. That's a, that's a, All the hormones that get pumped into them get pumped into us as well. And at the end of the day, man, as soon as an animal dies, it's decomposing. It starts rotting. It's a dead body. It should be buried and put in the ground. All right, well, it's good talking to you, man. Uh, you too. Have Take, a good night. You too, buddy. We can't all live here, but we can all enjoy and benefit from BD Farm Paris Creek dairy products, naturally from your local supermarket. Bullshit. But they separate the bobby calf from the mother to take the milk. And what do you know what happens to the mother after she can't produce milk anymore? Does she get to retire or does she go to the slaughterhouse? Yeah. And where do the baby calf, the bobby calves go? They get to grow up and live in a field somewhere. They don't get killed when they grow up. Um, well, they say that um, most of them become part of their herd. Yeah. Uh, there's a, some percentage that get sold at a year old. And do they sell meat? So what do they? You don't eat meat. Me? Oh, you do. That's okay. You can be on. I, I used to I eat do. lots of it. Yeah, steaks, I big do. steaks. Yeah. And what we're trying to say is that um, animals have to die. Okay. So what about? Do you hate bread? Do you hate pasta? Do you hate rice? Do you hate beans? <laughs> rice and carb? What about fruit? No, no, no. Do you think eating fat makes you fat, or eating bread and carbs? Eating animal flesh, bacon. No, well, it's really easy. I could coach you. Like, I could help you like through the process. It's so easy. And I, 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 I look at that and I just go, that's motivation. Like, why would I want to like, do that to a chicken that didn't do nothing wrong to me? Like, I didn't deserve it. So, and that to me, like, it's not food to me. It's just violence. It's suffering. It's death. You're already, you're already there. What I've found is impossible is trying to find a humane way to do it because you can't humanely kill an animal. No, no. Yeah. Or enslave an animal, you can't do that humanely either. Like they should just be able to be free to live their life and be left alone like we Yeah. Like that's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, like this here is a vegan easy book. It just gives you a little bit of information and like also, if you need any personal coach, I can do it for you. I can help you out with yeah. little, like where to buy stuff, yeah. what you're having trouble with, uh, milk, um, ice cream, anything that you yeah. that you enjoy, you can get vegan now. It's so easy. Like, 2017, they've made it like, there's so many vegans now. It's getting really big because people are waking up to the truth and we're showing people like, yeah, like people need to see this. Like, I know, it's, it's hard, it's really hard, I know. It hurt, it kills me every day, that's why I come out here and I talk to people about it. Thank you. My name's 
uh, on the internet, Joey Carbstrong. If you, if you write in Joey Carbstrong and inbox me on Facebook, say, I need help with this. Yeah. What can I eat here? Yeah. And I'll help you all the way through it if you need help. Thank you. Thanks.